it is snowing. It was just 60 degrees earlier. And now it has began to snow. This is crazy. Luckily for me, this is my last flight of the night and I get to go home and relax. Snowing! <laughs> I like the way I'm feeling. I can't touch this feeling. I mean my feelings. Batman. So as soon as I get home, I am going to relax and have a hot cup of tea because this is that weather that. Bro, you can get sick real quick messing with this because earlier today it was 67 degrees. Now it's dropped down to 30 and snowing. This is ridiculous. The Alabama weather is so wishy-washy. So I'm off tomorrow, which is Saturday. So it's going to be a slow day. I'm just going to relax and just take it easy all day. And so I'm loading this truck. It's how I stay fit. This is truly how um, I keep my weight down and I'm able to eat all the food that I love to eat. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out. And by the time I'm done, it should be time for me to go home. bags i'm gonna go check on the guys and see how much longer and what all they have left um before we get out of here we should be just about done though all right so while they're finishing up we probably got another 20 minutes or so and then we'll be walking out of the door we're finishing up my last minute things and girl we are headed to the pink we're going home i'm so ready for this I'm just afraid of this drive home. I'm just gonna have to take it slow. Cause usually by this time, um, cause it's been snowing for just about an hour, there's usually like that weird black ice, you know? But luckily for me, there's not many people traveling on the roads at this time of night. So I should be, be fine. It's only scary when there's a whole bunch of people driving when you're out there trying to drive, you know? So I'm not that worried about this. We'll make it home safely. All right guys, we are leaving. All right, so this is when I am so happy to have automatic start. Go ahead and start my car. So it should be good and warm when we get in it. I didn't think the snow was gonna stick, but it looks like it really just might stick. Yeah, look, my car is already going. I love that. And I love my seat warmers, love those. Let's do something about the snow on the windshield. All right. All right, we're going home. It is 1.30 on the dot. I made good timing. This is actually great timing for me to get out of here at 1.30. Y'all, it's so pretty. The snow is sticking. I didn't think it would. I thought the ground would be too warm because like I said, it was in the 60s earlier today. And now here it is, 
the snow is sticking. Just made it home. Look at the areas covered. It's so pretty. It is now 2.02 and it is currently 28 degrees outside. It is super cold. I'm just eating this uh, rice cup. I'm always starving when I get home from work, super hungry. But yeah, but this is all I'm gonna eat. Watch some TV and girl, I'm gonna catch y'all in the morning. We'll wake up and eat again. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is 10.25. I'm really thinking today is going to be a stay home day. Probably won't go anywhere. Um, If I do, it'll be later this evening. But then, I don't know. It may be too cold for me. Just woke up with a headache. <sighs> it's these days that I wish I... Yeah, someone that just ring a little bell and bring me a goodie powder and some juice. Oh my God, I don't want to get up. For now, I'm thinking about what I'm going to eat. I'm going to get up and make something, something yummy. Come back and catch up on TV shows and just relax. I got to wash my hair today and do some hair videos but we'll see how that goes i literally feel like doing nothing and that's probably what we're gonna do for real though when i feel like doing nothing i literally just do nothing i'm telling you i work hard man i'd be tired but i'm gonna get up because i'm curious to see what it looks like outside if the snow is still on the ground or if it's gone already Mm. Now let's go see what it's looking like outside. Mm. Alright, we still got some snow action out here on the ground. It's been okay. But it's no longer snowing, which is great. whip up some cute little brunch real quick i got these steaks here these are super thick um i got these in my walmart delivery yesterday i ordered um ribeye steaks but i opt in for the substitutions when they don't have exactly what you ordered but yeah they sent me these thick ass little um center cut sirloin steaks these are still yummy though but i'm gonna thin them a bit and yeah we're gonna do steak and eggs and waffles
I'll just cut the steaks. Like these were two steaks, remember? I just cut them straight down the middle to thin them out. Black pepper and Tony's Creole to season. Brunch is done. We got our eggs. We got our steak. We got our heart-shaped waffles. Y'all, I picked this little waffle iron up from Walmart. I'll have it linked down below. But you can grab it on Amazon as well. Super cute, and it worked really perfectly. I love it. But girl, I'm going to eat. Y'all, I don't even know where to start. But first, we got to pray. Amen. Oh. I can get used to having these Saturdays off. I can get up and make myself brunch or either go to brunch. I really do enjoy going to brunch. Y'all know that. But I just love to eat in general. Oh, it looks so yummy. My steak is so beautiful and so juicy. Let's take a little bite. Let's taste it. Yeah, I got to show you that little vacuum sealer after I'm done eating. Mmm. Bro. Perfect. Our little cheese and eggs. All right, guys, so here is the vacuum sealer. I've taken it out of the package. It still has this little protective film over it. Let's remove that. Now, I did pick this up from Amazon. Um... As I've been into cooking and buying bulk uh, meats and all of that jazz, I thought it'd be nice to have one of these. Now this is a pancake um, <laughs> mix. I thought it'd be nice to have this in helping me store unused foods and meats to freeze them and just keep them in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use them. But Let's go ahead and see how it works. Now, it does have the vacuum um, function on here. It'll actually vac seal. And if you just want to seal a bag of product, you can do that as well. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Now, I was just got finished reading the instructions. Now, the instructions to me are a little unclear as to if I take this little piece of tape off. It didn't tell me anything about that. I literally spent like 30 minutes looking. But I'm going to say no because this is like an instruction. Please keep bag opening below the red line if seal only. Okay, so in my head, we're going to leave it on. Okay. So let's go ahead and try it. You know, I just cooked steak for brunch and I want to vacuum pack one of the steaks. So let's go ahead and try it out you ready i'm ready it did come with the little vacuum seal bag so this is what they look like which is neat and you do have the option to buy more on amazon as well so don't skip over the description box all of these things will be linked down below let me grab the meat so i'm gonna try it right now with this steak that i want to put in the freezer you know what i should go ahead and thin it first let me go ahead and thin it all right, so I'm back. I just cut it clean down the middle, kind of butterflied it. So now we made a bigger and thinner sirloin. This just makes it easier to cook as well for me, in my opinion. That's just me. So now we're going to go ahead and put it in the bag and vac seal it. All right, so now I put it on in there, in the bag. All right, now we're going to go ahead and see how this baby works. I'm going to save this other steak for later. Like, it could be thin some more. We can do steak, peppers and onions, some veggies. We'll see. Right, so it's actually vacuum sealing the, the medium. Look at that. Awesome. Dang, now I wish I would have probably seasoned it.
right now that we're taking it out. It is definitely sealed. This is awesome. Look at that. And vacuum. I'm pleased. So be sure to check out the links down below to get yourself hooked up with this. Very, very affordable, very nice, very sleek looking. Looks cute on the kitchen counter. You can store it in the cabinets for um, later use, but yeah. Glad I picked this up. So be sure to check it out down below in the description box, okay? This is one of those really good Amazon home finds. I am up now. I accidentally took a three hour nap. I, I really didn't mean to do that. I ate, oh, my food was so good. Um, cleaned the kitchen up, separated some more meats that I have. I got one more pack of meat in the refrigerator that I want to um, portion out and vacuum pack for the week. Some hamburger meat, I'm going to do that. But right now, I feel like I need to go get a coffee and something sweet. I want something like cake. So I'm going to throw something on and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and cruise the streets a little bit. And plus, I need to get some of this um, $5 gas. So I'm going to go ahead and get dressed because I have been sporting this robe all day. I'm in here already picking out a bag before I pick out um, an outfit, but I got an idea as to what I'm going to throw on real quick. It's nothing super fancy, but we got to carry this new bag. I can't wait, but you'll see it when I get in the car, but she's a beauty girl, a beauty it's a Chanel tote bag. But yeah, let me go ahead and get dressed and then we'll be back to pack this bag all right so now i'm dressed i'm just gonna pick out a pair of sunnies i'm gonna wear these today but check out this sunglass case that i picked up from amazon now this one stays sold out so girl once i provide this link down below in the description box if it's available i suggest ordering a few i got to get another one because at the time i could only get this one but i definitely want another it keeps your sunglasses and your glasses protected and um yeah, keep some dust free so you could just reach for them, girl, and go. But I got to go through my sunglass collection and just organize them better. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pack my baggy bag. And we're going to be out the door. I'm going to grab a coat, too. And we are going to get in the car because I got some shit I need to discuss with y'all, okay? And normally I don't do this, but we're going to have this talk today. All right, so this is the look I got on my... Harvey somebody coat, honey. Harvey somebody. I'm wearing Cooler Burl boots. I've had these boots, girl, for almost two years now. You know, this is my first time throwing them on. I feel like since it's like um, 28 degrees, I might as well throw these on. Just give them some play. You know, wearing my um, cute tote here. My Chanel tote. Okay. Shanene. Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, my watch. I didn't close it up. I just put it on. I was in a hurry. Uh, but yeah. The Fitbit, of course, and the Cartier bracelet. I got to tell y'all about this Cartier bracelet, how long I've had this bracelet. And for the past three months, I don't know if you guys have been noticing it, but I have been wearing this bracelet nonstop. I've not taken it off since um, putting it on my wrist. But yeah, girl, this is the look. All right, let me grab my iPad, put my iPad in my bag so I can catch up on some emails while we're out talking and things when we sit down. But yeah, this is the look. All right, girls, so recently, as in like the day before yesterday, I get DMs though all the time, all types of DMs and questions about anything from makeup to bags, clothes, just whatever, even just like, regular small talk which is cool you know what i'm saying i i welcome all of that i i love to talk i'm a very social person girl i just i just love life and i just love to have fun i'm really that person but i'm also very standoffish if i don't know you um then yeah i'm not gonna give you the most or do the most you'll get a hey how you doing you know cute smile or whatever then i'm going on about my business that's just what it is i'm not mean i'm not rude uh, any of that to people but you know i just know how to stay in my lane and keep it cute with everybody and that's what i do for the most part but then you have those people that just love the poke and prod and push your buttons and i get it i know that see i'm at an age where i already know what's happening i know what time it is 
and I know that you're only going to do this and you're wanting to do this to get a response from me in a negative way because um, anything else that you've tried just has not worked because I'm not one to sit around and just give you my business. I don't owe any about it. I don't owe any anybody that I don't owe anybody my business just because you sit around and ask me well let me just start with this question just because you want to DM me whoever you might be and just want to small talk about YouTube and you know and talk about your hopes and dreams of starting YouTube and I always encourage people to do what you want to do if that's what you want to do girl do it why wait do it now do it now you know I'm that person go ahead and just do it I mean, everybody has a smartphone these days. Like for me, primarily now, I've been vlogging from my iPhone. I find that to be easy. Do it. So nobody has an excuse not to do whatever it is that they're wanting to do, okay? But as it pertains to me and mine and my personal business, I don't really owe that to anybody. I don't feel like I have to sit around and chit chat about my life um, or, or tell you how much money I make on YouTube. That's no one's business. And I personally cringe at those questions. Like, how can you even formulate a sentence to even ask somebody that? I would never, you know, but that's just me. I'm a, I'm a different type of person. But, uh, to be me is to know that, you know, I really, and honestly, truly, and I don't mean this in a negative way, but I know people are going to take it however they want it. I don't care enough to ask you how much you make. Or any or any things like that with your personal endeavors like I it doesn't matter to me if you're doing good you're doing great and I wish the best for everybody but your business is your business and I like to keep mine mine and I'm good in, in 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 that I'm good in that like that's just not conversation to me like well, I'm just trying to have a conversation and then I would say oh I don't like to talk about my personal but oh I'm just making conversation and I get that but that's just not the conversations that I like to have but then even if I can say say that in the sweetest most fakest voice i could use other than my because i'm realizing that when i mean like this is me right now like this is my this is my i gotta give y'all this all the time this is my normal speaking voice girl this is my normal speaking voice it offends people like i don't understand that like why do i have to walk around and use a sing-song childlike voice just to make you feel comfortable like i don't like you, now you're making me uncomfortable. So I'm supposed to be uncomfortable because you need to be made to feel comfortable. Like, who does that? Like, I can't do that for you. That's just not who I am as a person. That is just crazy to me. And like I said, I get this in every aspect of my life. Even online, my real life. Um, you know, like I said, I, I'm not that person to sit around and just strike up a conversation just because we might be sitting next to each other drinking a drink or having I'm not that unless it's a bar situation and you're a total stranger and we're out having fun now that's different that doesn't apply to um you know like the workplace or stuff like that or you know more serious situations um because you know there are more serious situations other than your work life too that may cause for people to think that they're entitled to knowing your business but not everybody needs to know your business and I'm a firm believer in that. So if you come at me asking me questions about how much, yes, expect not to get an answer back. Yes, or expect to be blocked. That's just what I do because I don't understand you just in asking me that. Now, it's one thing to be you know, coming to me and asking me for YouTube advice or something and that's different. Sis, let's talk. Like, what is it that you uh, want to know? Well, you, you need to know what settings to use. I can help you with that. I can point you to some links. I even have all of that on the blog that you can read about. Um, but other than that, yeah. Oh, and then wait a minute. Then, then there's this one. Then you get people that you know that are kind of like acquaintances, but then they're asking you about online ventures and you're telling them, hey, you know, well, this is all you need to do. And then they get a little upset because in their heads you're not telling them everything they feel like like you're not like you're not giving me everything well i done told you what it is that you need to get started and let me say this i'm not see what i'm saying i'm not i'm not a guru <laughs> i'm not the most ball in this player i don't have a handbook nobody ever gave me a handbook to all this online stuff i just wake up every day when i decide to post i just post and we'll just see what it does that's just 
what it is for me. I don't have any coaches or managers or um, content coordinators. This is just me over here. Just one girl, one camera, one phone, one iPad. I'm just, just winging it. I'm literally out here winging it. So I really don't know. So I don't have this playbook that you're looking for me to give you other than try your best, do your best, make it look as good as you possibly can and upload because that's what I do. Because if you go back and look at all of my prior postings, my prior videos, my prior posts, everything that it, that pertains to um, Makeup Misha and Misha model, it was a progression. I progressed up to where I am. Like The content wasn't the clearest, it wasn't the best at first, but it was what I had to get started. And it progressed into what you see today which still in somebody's opinion most people's opinion they probably don't even see much much change or much progress much difference and I get that I can understand that because that's just how we are and who we are as people I get it but as far as a monetary standpoint um, I can feel a difference in my purse I can see it <laughs> am I where I want to be uh, I'm grateful for where I am. I'm very thankful for my following. Guys, you just have no idea. I am so grateful and thankful for you. I, I'm really happy that I have my subscribers. I really am. Especially my, my day ones. The ones that are leaving them comments as soon as I post these videos. I love that. You just don't know how much that makes me happy. You know, that does make me happy. I'm really grateful and thankful for you. I really am. Um, Cause this is a help. Like this online stuff is a help for me. I'm, I'm a single person out here, just you know, living life and doing it all on my own. I don't have anybody handing me things. As some of you don't either. I get it. But we out here making it. We doing it. And this is what I'm doing to help myself um, get through life and just be all right. And I do sometimes when I think about like where I am and all the things that have just fallen into my lap and all the opportunities that I've been able to do. It was like, wow, all of this from just um, deciding to open my laptop and use that webcam to post a video. So I could only imagine what the bigger names um, are doing and what they're getting. It just, it just starts with a start. You just have to start it. You just gotta start, you know? You could be uh, way bigger, way bigger <laughs> than what I'm doing. That could very well be it. Because what I'm doing, <laughs> you know, that, that's just what I'm doing. This is for me. This is what I, your formula and your style is going to be way different. It's going to generate a whole different result. You may have, you know, five people to start. And then in five minutes, you can have 500,000. I've seen that kind of happen. Maybe not in those, you know, those specific times. But like in no time, you've blossomed into this YouTube mega star, you know. And being a mega star might not be in the plans right now for me. But I'm grateful for what, I, what I'm able to create and what I'm able to do in this very moment. So don't, what I'm saying, I guess what I'm saying is that don't base what you want to do based on the questions you have planned to ask me and what I could potentially answer you with. So don't let me determine what you do and what you decide to do. You see what I'm saying? Just do it. You really don't need my permission or my advice to do what you want to do. And I'm telling you right now, I don't know it all. I still don't know it all. I'm just, I'm just out here trying. But I'm almost to the bakery. I'm going to Edgar's Bakery. They have pretty good coffee and the cake is really good. I just want something sweet. Even though, you know, I just had waffles. But girl, you know, girl, you, that, stop. You know they don't count. I need some cake in my life because I haven't had anything indulgently sweet in forever. So that's what we finna do, okay? And then I'll work out tomorrow. I know I'm going to do my stretches before I go to bed. I always stretch. I like to keep my uh, my limbs stretched as I ain't got tired of be doing aches and pains and being all stiff and things. Okay, we don't do all of that, but yeah, that's what we on, girl. I just had to get that out my chest and let people know, like, I, I'm 
I'm a grown woman out here. I ain't got time to be playing these games with these people and you walking around saying, oh, she's just so unapproachable. She's so this. No, it's because I don't know you, sis. And you don't know me. And I just feel like you don't even know me to be asking me some of the questions that you ask me. And then it just lets me know right there, you just really being nosy. And some of you don't even have intent to even start online ventures. You just being nosy. Like, do that somewhere else. I ain't the one to play with. Not today, sis. Not, not ever, sis. Not ever. Okay. But girl, I'm salivating thinking about this um, strawberry cake. Do I want strawberry cake? Or do I want caramel cake? Now, the red velvet cake is pretty good, but... I'm one of those girl. I like um, I like pecans and and stuff in the frosting. I don't really like it when the frosting doesn't have that. I like some texture in it. That's just the bomb to me when it has nuts in the frosting. Okay, now that's good old red velvet cake. All right. <laughs> Town Providence right now. This little area is so cute because, girl, if YouTube ever gave me the opportunity to be the most ball in this player, y'all better believe I am moving right down here. This area is so beautiful. All right, so this is the bakery. Let's just park the Misha Mobile. Like these lofts are so gorgeous down here, girl. So beautiful. I like that you can just walk to everything. The little shops, dinner, it's just so cute. All right, so I'm just getting all my stuff. All right, we got this, we got that. I better take my cord. Well, just in case. I need to charge it up. My phone. What else? We should be good. I'm not going to take the cord. We're not going to take it. Oh, look at my car. Yikes. I got so much done. Um, checked a lot of emails, responded to a lot of emails. Um, even started pre-editing this video. But then one of my besties called and asked me to come out for a good time tonight. And I was like, yes, I will be there. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Since I'm already dressed, we're gonna meet at seven. Um, I'm tempted to wanna go back to the house and just stay in town. I probably stay in town, but I am gonna run down the mall real quick. Um, I did want to go by Walmart because I keep thinking about those leopard print um, bowls and plates. They were so cute at Walmart, so I might run by Walmart. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it, but we'll see. But we're meeting at seven. It is 5:24 right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and get moving because I do need to charge my phone and stuff. the 
the bowling alley at 7. It is 6 right now. Well, 5.59. Technically 6 right now. Girl, this Tessie in front of me is bomb.com. Okay? That is like on my dream car list. I do want a Tessie. I want a Range Rover. I think I want a Range Rover. I don't know. I do like those though, but that Tessie is everything. Traffic is so light today for a Saturday. Usually when I'm in the city on a Saturday, it feels like everybody and their mama with a car is out here on the road operating their vehicle. Like, man, what is going on? What's got everybody out here in these streets today? So we're gonna run in the mall real quick. I'm looking for some more stud earrings. I just want some a little bigger than this. These are normally the ones I wear in my second hole. But these are okay, but they need to be bigger. But you know, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but this hole over here has a tiny like tear in it. It's like it's, the hole is longer. I can literally take this earring out this way. I could just take like the back and all. I could literally pull it through if I wanted to. But we ain't gonna do all of that. But I could do it. <laughs> so I just want some bigger studs. I feel like bigger studs look better in my my ears due to the situation okay so i'm gonna get me some earrings that's what i want not the tail far dupe in walmart okay look at these cute hats they're on clearance for five bucks this matches my outfit i'm gonna get this one i love a good hat with a pom-pom on it these are too cute i probably should get that pink one too though Ooh, yeah i'm gonna get it it's cute too cute to leave in here all right, time and true. Push through. All right, walking into Stars and Strikes. This is like a um, arcade slash bowling alley. Nope. What is that? Oh, that's the, um, the food menu. But y'all, check out my shoes. They look like they done been through some rough times. Like they done been used at least about 84 times. <laughs> Y'all see the kicks? You see them? Yeah. The shoes for me. Yes. Go home and put them on. Oh, I'm fucking up, boy. I'm gonna give it up. Ooh, you got a little cheese. 
guys, I had so much fun. It is now like 11 o'clock. I've been here since 7. I had so much fun. You had so much fun. So you much did fun. great. I, yeah, I beat you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Hate it. Look. Haters, haters can't stand the, the lose. Or you missed them big. <laughs> I've made it home. I am ready for some rest. It is like uh, close to midnight. Introducing the Amazon spring and summer short set pajamas. I'll have these linked down below. I, these were on sale and I got these for under 20 bucks. Yes, I love putting on a fresh set of anything. Okay. <laughs> They're super cute, right? I just love a good pair of satin pajamas. And these are shorts, okay? And they're not super short. I feel like they're the perfect length. All right, okay. But girl, I am about to end this vlog. I'm about here. to drink this water and mind my business. Mm. Drink water and mind my business. And that's what I'm encouraging everybody to do. Just mind your business, okay? Don't worry about what the next person is doing. Worry about yourself, okay? Because what's for that person is what's for that person. What's for you is for you. Say your prayers, okay? And just wait your turn, okay? Do your best and the best will come to you, all right? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribed. If you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads until next time i will see you in my next video and there will definitely be another video okay bye